coverage of local high school football on WCIA 3 is sponsored by Loman Ray Insurance Group and Pontiac RV. This is Friday Football Fever. Welcome to Friday Football Fever. Brett Barron's alongside Andy Olson. We've got a jam-packed show ahead. 15 games on tap. Our crews across the map tonight with scores rolling at the bottom of the screen. And we start with the Central Illinois Conference loaded at the top through two weeks of the season. Six out of the eight teams opening up the season. Two and oh, that leaderboard will look a lot different after tonight. St. Teresa has not allowed a point so far this season. They make the trek to Central A&M. The Raiders have only given up six, so something has to give. It's the Mark Ram Bowl in this one. Defensive battle early. Carter Thomas on the run. A Bryson Hendricks with a big hit to free the ball. Bulldogs fall on top of that one. Very next play, Christian Harper. The big man taking over the running role for the Bulldogs this season. Gets around the corner. Shows his burst. He's gone untouched after the line. But the Bulldogs up 7-0. Harper doing some more work following the blocks. Look at that downfield block by the wide receiver. 20 yards for 14-0 St. T after the kick. Not just Harper, though, lots of weapons for the dogs. Christian Easterling streaks down the sideline. 75 yard score there. St. Teresa wins it 48 to 7 the final. So they stay on top of the CIC. Tuscola and Sullivan Ocala Valley also 2 0 to start tonight. The Redskins host the Warriors. Pick this one up early in the first quarter. And it's Tuscola trying to find its way into the end zone. And they get in for the score. Then Jordan Quinn a little bit later. Another touchdown. 14 0, just like that. With less than a minute on the clock, Sullivan quarterback Cooper Christensen hands to Ian Fryman, runs it in, 14-7. No one is catching him. That's a play of the week nominee. 28-25, Warriors went on the road in a close one. How about some more 2-0 teams clapping? Muhammad Seymour makes the drive to Mount Zion for an Apollo Conference showdown. Look at Look at they got the speaker in the audience. Last play of the half, first half it is. Wyatt Baum looking deep at the Braves. Tony Alford makes a great play to stop them on fourth down. Bulldogs wasted no time, though, coming out of the half. Luke Johnson fighting off the defenders, throwing him to the ground. It's a race to the pylon. He wins it. Touchdown, Muhammad. They go up 35-14 at that point. The defense stepping up big as well. McCoby out and back to pass. He's out to run, but he's brought down by Brennan Hauser for the sack. Bulldogs win it 49-14. They move on to 3-0. Also in the Apollo, Taylorville looks for its second win of the season, taking on Matu in the Green Wave, looking for their first dub. And it is Tarek Grace fighting his way into the end zone, getting it past the goal line there for the running touchdown. Then Slater Trier back to pass. Logan Blackburn wide open, beats the defense, gets behind him for the touchdown. Taylorville doing its best to fight back. Baron Odom to Seth Hughes. Big hit. He is not taken down Oof. on first contact. And the Green Wave go on to win this one 17-14. First victory for head coach Jared Kimbrough. Let's go to the Illini Prairie with a first place showdown between Paxton Buckley Loda and Bloomington Central Catholic in a matchup of 2-0 teams. Saints driving early. Colin Hayes hits Ryan Hofferly for the easy touchdown. Hands go in the air, but Panthers come right back in the form of sophomore Robert Boyd Mentz. Look at this. A bowling ball. Can't bring him down. He's a big boy. No doubt about it. Just a sophomore. And he finds the end zone. It took about three plays for PBL. All on the back of Robert Boyd Mintz. They decide to go for two. Don't get it. And the defense for PBL coming up big here. Once again, Caden Snelling with the tackle for loss. This one goes to overtime. And PBL defends home field 28. 25 the final. Prairie Central, the other undefeated IPC squad. The Hawks host St. Joseph Ogden in Fairbury. St. Joseph defense hot off the line here. Drew Thurman and Owen Britt stop the runner in his tracks for the Spartans. He's taken down for a loss. Then Logan Smith with some time in the backfield finds Coy Taylor on the pass. Taylor does the rest from there to pick up the first down. Then later in the drive, Smith rolling outside the pocket. He's dangerous when he's on the moves. Throws it to Aiden Moberg. Great catch in the end zone to get the foot inside the line. 55-28 PC wins it though. Unity gets its first home game of the season taking on Illinois Valley Central. Rockets hand off to running back Matt Brown. Going to take it from there down the sideline. 20-yard run for him as he gets around the corner. That'll be a first down for the Rockets. 
Brown sets up Eric Nieback for this play. Nieback, the long throw towards the end zone. Junior wide receiver Jay Saunders under it for the easy touchdown as he gets behind the defender. Rockets lead by nearly 30, less than a minute until half. Senior Kale Rawdon finds William Cowan, who steps his way in for the touchdown. 62-20, all Rockets in that. Monticello welcomes an out-of-state opponent to Piatt County. The Milwaukee Academy of Science must be smart. Makes the trip south to face the Sages. Some trickery to start the game. How many passes can we go back uh, here before we go forward? Handed off a couple of times, and they are able to haul it in for a big gain. That was uh, Drew Shepard to Tyler Bundy. Then Bundy able to get it done on the ground. The handoff. He is in for the score. The real story of the game, though, was the Sages' defense, including this clutch pick by Blake McDuffie. Right to him. He runs it back 30 yards. 39-6, Sages roll. All right, we wrap up this power pack. First block with Rain Tool and Pontiac. Both teams in search of that first win of the season. Indians up 20-14 to 14 at the break. Come out driving down the field to start the third. Devontae Chambers gets to the outside, then cuts back in all the way through the defenders. Reaches out, stretches for six. Eagles get the ball, go right to work. Jace Hoyt, he is listed at 5'5". Five five. He's all heart. He's got wheels. Sideline. Picks up a nice gain, but they can't come up with points on fourth down. They come up short, 50 to 14. Pontiac wins it. That's nine games down, six more still to come. We check in with the Lincoln Prairie Big 12, Heart of Illinois, Central State 8 Conferences. All next as the Friday Football Fever rolls on.